So guys, as y'all seen by the title and thumbnail, I did say Welcome back to another video. Uh, by the title, I am selling this Polaris. Uh, we will get into it, but right now, it can start, but it can't start, if that makes any sense. Um, I'll probably explain uh, all that uh, later on. So I don't know if y'all see, but the wire is off that solenoid right there. I'm trying to repair it. So guys, I'm repairing this wire right here. Um, the wire had came off uh, the little terminal um, that is on the solenoids, which I gotta unscrew. Y'all probably can't see it, it's right there. Um, so yeah. So guys, that was our issue. We got a better connection now. I kind of don't want to give it away now, but she running. Last drive with the Polaris. Think I gotta make sure the wheels tight. Let's see if she get over this curve with. Uh, yeah, she getting over it with ease. That's all we had was uh, just a uh, loose connection or whatever, which is goddamn crazy. Pretty good four wheeler, man. Hey guys, so we had sold the Polaris. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's off my hands now, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, to be honest. So guys, today is Sunday. I was going to do a closeout video on the Polaris video. But I was trying to start my Renegade, and man... Every time I put you on record, it want to stay uh, running and all that. Y'all see that? It just cut off. Now I can't do nothing. I hear the thing up front. I ain't doing nothing. Come on now. I know you've been through a lot, but damn. Anyway, last time... 
we end up uh, taking these fuses right here. And yeah, that was just pretty much it. So I'm probably going to recheck them to make sure they all the way in. Ain't no telling if they vibrated. But come on, can now. Y'all be letting the boy down. <laughs> All look pretty good, but it's dark. So I might end up doing like an oil change uh, sometime on the Renegade, uh, just one more time. You know, we had the issue where, I don't even think I really got water in uh, here. And if I did, it was probably just a little bit. And I had people was like, well, I had this one particular dude, like, oh, split the case, split the case, split the case. Like, dude, be quiet. But uh, this is gonna be too much. But I feel like I got pretty damn lucky. Um, I ain't had no um, issues just yet, which I am happy, and I know I won't have no issues down the road. And if I do, I am prepared uh, for that uh, step. So yeah, I just gotta try to twist this cap on. But yeah, she just need a. Little oil change, but oil level pretty damn good and all that, as y'all can see. And I'm not getting it on the ground, I'm getting it right here. Um, but anyway, yeah, she pretty full, but yeah. All right, guys, so she stayed running with no issues with that fuse on the backside. Uh, it was out of this uh, hole, so I put it back. Like I said, it's crazy how stuff just rattle uh, left and right. Uh, <laughs> Out of this can am but um you know it's a v-twin and they got a little more thump to it so yeah y'all stay tuned for a video for this thing right here um i'm going to clean her up really well i'm also going to take this uh plastic uh loose and try to clip it back in because as y'all can see it is out of line on the both sides so i just got to screw the light make sure it's put back in place uh all i have to do is just top off the fluid on this thing um axle we need to figure that situation out that's all that clacking and stuff i believe it is oh yeah it's this one right here well it's both of them because i had uh changed one of these um but anyway we got new gear fluid uh, front and back, new oil. As y'all seen, the oil don't look too bad, but I'm in up uh, changing the oil again. And that's pretty much it. And she sounded good. Looking good. Oh yeah, and also need to put a, a boat right there. That got down backside of the, the plate had broke so i might have to replace that uh, whole piece but ain't no biggie uh, ain't no point if i could just put a bolt and slide it through i hate i hate these damn nuts they got stripped so damn easily but yeah and also this piece right here i told y'all i had got the wrong piece i ordered the wrong side and it, I, you know it had blew me because i was like man Nah, we ain't, we ain't doing this. We is not doing this. So I'm definitely like this. I might end up ordering it probably down the road. I could order it now, but I'm not gonna do it. It ain't necessary. So guys, as y'all seen by the title and thumbnail, I did sell the Polaris. And it felt really good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm glad I got it off my hands. Uh, I got, I wanna say, I just wanted to give it away uh, to somebody who have time for it. I did had uh, some plans for it, um, like just to like upgrade it, uh, put some new uh, tires on there, add a new seat, and uh, to do a snorkel kit on there and stuff, and probably do like a, a clutch upgrade and all that. But it didn't happen, so I sold it before I did all that. But it was fun while I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it's just been sitting, um, so I said, why not? And the person I sold it to, uh, they're going to give it to their kids or whatever. 
Uh, the one issue I had, I, I, first of all, I thought I couldn't find the key. And then second, the four wheel it won't. Well, as soon as you turn the key, uh, the power will just die out quick. So I end up, you know, tra uh, tracing the wiring um, and I had a loose connection on the solenoid. So I ended up redoing that connection and the four wheel just started like nothing. That thing was running good, feeling good uh, and all that. So she off and uh, gone. Uh, and hopefully we get to a trail uh, sometime. I got to get my trailer cleared off. I got a whole bunch of metal and stuff on there. So I got to get that cleared off uh, sometime. But um, I do got trails in mind. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to be dropping shorts uh, here, short form content. And I'm going to do long form content too, which I want to be consistent. And also go over to my car page where I've been dropping videos like left and right here and there. Because I am doing a build. And I am currently working on my Mercedes. Well, my Mercedes fixed, but it's certain things I can do to it uh, to get it um, back to where it need to be at. And then stay for the Porsche because I want to do some uh, crazy stuff with that. So channel going to be right here. But anyway, I hope y'all, you know, enjoy the video. And let me know, would y'all sold the Polaris or would y'all had kept it? I did want to take it to the trail. However, I didn't do it. Um, it would have been fun to do it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it would have did good. Uh, like the power is 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 pretty good. The pinnacle uh, power, more controllable uh, in a way. Um, but yeah, if we get something else, probably be a dirt bike. Um, or like another four wheeler. But I want to like <clears throat> actually enjoy this can now. To be honest. Um, I only had it about like what a year, maybe two. I'm not sure. A year and some months. Um, so yeah, let's get it done. One more look at the can now, cause we don't know when we're gonna see another look. Um, I got all my GoPro gear and all that charged up for an next trail, and I want to make sure this is like 100%, cause I'm not trying to get stranded and stuff uh, like I did uh, a couple times. Like I said, uh, this bike, this bike got pretty damn low mileage and all that too, uh, which is crazy. But it has been through a lot. I mean, it's a four wheeler, it's a four wheeler, so you know things gonna happen and all that. Um, it's just normal wear and tear and all that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much damn it. Pretty much damn it. We just need to get this looking. Well, it look good anyway, regardless. But she run flawless. Um, like I said, I recently changed the rear and front diff oil, changed this oil, still looking good, gonna drain it one more time. Um, I remember I took the spark plugs out, no water shot out, and no nothing, so, and then these two axles, so, I mean, it's, it's a bike, we gotta make sure we keep up the part and all that, but, you know, things are gonna break left and right when you got a Can-Am, so, yep, you already know. So guys, I'm finna wrap it up. Uh, if you're new, like I said, subscribe, uh, join the family. Man, we around 800, man. We are close to 1K. 1K. You heard me? Cause if you didn't hear me, you need to clean your ears. Now let me stop. <laughs> anyway guys, let me stop. Um, I'm trying to be quick. Um, I do wanna do more trail videos. Um, so y'all can know ahead of time before y'all go to that trail. I want to be like more detailed, more in script, uh, in a way, uh, just to give that to y'all, you know, and I have been consistent on here with the short form content. So if you haven't been watching the shorts, what are you doing? You better go, go watch some shorts. Um, what else? Oh, I want to do reviews on other uh, four wheelers, probably compare other four wheelers, probably do the history of other four wheelers. If you haven't been watching my videos and stuff, I have been doing little stuff like that. I want to actually do it. Um, but it's getting like more interesting and interesting with this off road stuff as I think about it. But hey, I love it. Um, and I want to be like accurate with my information, so I just don't want to put stuff out. Half the time, I do. I me, I, me. I've always put quick facts out. I don't go in detail with certain things. I might start doing that, but 
but we never know y'all let me know uh, in the comments down below or um let me know on my dm uh follow my instagram at uh renegade uh, let's get the 800 on there y'all follow me on there um let me know rather it's good or bad criticism let me know uh, i'm not gonna take uh any comments uh any too serious um because at the end of the day it is the net but i do want to like you know connect with you know the people um i do videos for uh i just i just say family i can call y'all my family uh, i was just trying to have like a like uh like a connection some type of way rather we relate in something or not if that make any sense I'm, i don't know whatever we relate to i'm trying to have like some t type of connection i want y'all like to know me and stuff um who i am and all that because me i'm just the average joe man i just like riding four wheelers and stuff uh, i always wanted a four wheeler got my four wheeler uh, had a second four wheeler, sold that four wheeler, um, and I, I, I can see growth uh, down the road. I can see it. Um, I'm trying to get uh, the one k. Um, I know the one k gonna come. I haven't been pushing it like that, but I know it's gonna come. Um, other people have been uh, rather posting me or not, help trying to help me to get the one k. I appreciate y'all. Um, y'all mean a lot. And if you subscribe right now, you mean a lot, and I appreciate it. Um, but it's, it's a lot uh to do in this big old bowl of other you know people and all that and the other people they i, I look at other people as like um uh, influencers in a way and stuff because it's pretty cool for other people to do the stuff that you're doing and all that rather you you know new or you like been in it for a while like it's pretty cool and stuff to see other people um doing what you like to do and stuff um, I think that's what matter. I'm just thankful to video uh, what I'm doing, uh, my passion and all that with the four-wheeler. Rather, it's little content or a lot of content. Um, but, yo, that's pretty much it. I don't want to take y'all head off. Um, but let's get to 1K. Let's grow. Um, I know we can get there. I know we can get there. I just know we can and uh, like I said, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. I need a haircut and a retwist. Let me stop. Let my hair grow out. I'm letting all that, all that overgrow before I get a retwist uh, from just the hair. But y'all might not care. But who cares? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Anyway, have a good day, guys. I'm going to edit this video. It's Sunday, so y'all going to see it in a few. Um, I'm going to try to see what I got uh, planned for the day. Or try to get done uh, for the day. And that's just pretty much it, man. See y'all. <laughs> see y'all later. I don't know when I'm going to see y'all. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know when I'm going to see y'all, guys. At least I'll let you know ahead of time. Stay tuned for trails. Stay tuned for maybe a random upload on some other stuff. Stay tuned, my guy. Or gal. Um, anybody. <laughs>